Toyota's hybrid electric cars have been trendy and have made the Japanese automaker a leader in the hybrid segment. However, simply relying on sales of hybrid vehicles is not enough. Toyota also needs to focus on developing technology for these cars, which is why Toyota is developing a hydrogen combustion engine that will propel the company to dominate the hybrid vehicle segment. In this video, we take a deep look at Toyota's new hydrogen combustion engine technology and see how it can improve its hybrid vehicles. Stay tuned! Toyota has long been developing fuel cell electric vehicles, which they believe will outsell fully electric vehicles in the future. Now why is Toyota so much into fuel cell vehicles? There are actually a few reasons. You see, fuel cell cars use the most abundant resource on our planet, hydrogen. Also, fuel cell vehicles pollute the environment less than EVs during production. The batteries in fuel cell cars require less lithium compared to battery-powered electric vehicles. Therefore, it does not just save the limited resource from getting depleted, but it also brings down the cost of manufacturing fuel cell cars. With so much potential, it is no surprise that Toyota has been developing technology to maximize the power of hydrogen more efficiently. Toyota has recently converted their 1.6 turbocharged three-cylinder engine found in the Toyota Corolla and Toyota Yaris GR into hydrogen instead of typical fossil fuels. That's not all, they've also entered into a joint venture with Yamaha to produce a hydrogen-powered 5-liter V8. So how does an internal combustion engine that runs on hydrogen actually function? Well, you'd be surprised to find out that the engine functions rather traditionally. In fact, it's similar to vehicles that run on compressed natural gas instead of petrol. A huge tank that is much thicker than your typical fuel tank holds the hydrogen in place. Hydrogen is a highly flammable gas and an armored tank is needed so that the hydrogen doesn't escape. The engine requires hardened valves and valve seats, stronger connecting rods, fuel injections designed for a gas instead of a liquid, and a bunch of other improvements and general strengthening of the engine's components so that it can withstand a higher overall pressure in the cylinder. Speaking of benefits, there are no CO2 emissions when using hydrogen as a fuel. Another plus for hydrogen engines is that they produce similar amounts of horsepower to their more traditional counterparts. Also, refueling time is extremely low compared to EVs as it only takes 1.5 minutes for the new Yaris GRH2 to be filled to the brim. Overall, these vehicles are the way of the future. Now, how would these cars exactly make EVs and FCEVs go extinct? First, these cars are way more practical as they have a higher range and are much faster to refuel. The other benefit is that they're wholly mechanical, which means they can be repaired and not simply discarded. Also, a significant plus is that these vehicles don't need unrenewable resources to run, unlike fossil fuel cars or to be manufactured. This makes the whole production and usage much more green and completely sustainable. Also, refueling these vehicles could become cheap once Toyota conquers the hydrogen processing technology. These cars are also extremely fun to drive. The driving experience is almost identical to a traditional vehicle, which includes one of the critical things that petrol heads love above IC engines. They make a noise, unlike EVs, which are silent and require artificial sound effects. The collaboration between Toyota and Yamaha is much awaited. The hydrogen combustion engine is rumored to produce around 450 horsepower and will rev up to 6800 RPM. It will be a real symphony and judging by their current collaboration track record, it will also be a fantastic engine. The legendary 2JZ was co-developed by Yamaha and so was the fabulous V10 found in the Lexus LFA, so the hydrogen-powered internal combustion engine could answer all our prayers. But before we go ahead and write off EVs and traditional vehicles completely, a few things need to be noted and a couple of problems concerning hydrogen as a propellant. Toyota isn't the first to make a hydrogen-powered IC engine. These vehicles were made in the past and the most successful one before Toyota was actually BMW back in 2002 with the BMW 750HL and later in 2005 they introduced the Hydrogen 7. Both cars were flooded with numerous problems with hydrogen internal combustion engine vehicles. One drawback is that hydrogen is highly flammable and even explosive in some cases, which would make it a huge safety hazard. Also, it takes more work to process and is even harder to store. Even though CO2 emissions don't exist, the high combustion temperatures emit vast amounts of nitrous oxide, which is also a pollutant. This can be reduced by doubling the air needed for complete combustion which makes the car significantly weaker than its petrol-powered counterpart. 
This means that the engines need to be huge to produce sufficient horsepower, which would effectively mean a thirstier engine. Currently, the highly complicated way of processing and storing hydrogen makes it more expensive than petrol and diesel, and the current tech also makes these cars way less economical. Firstly, the production process is at least one and a half times more expensive than making a traditional IC engine because the hydrogen engine needs to be much more durable. As you can see, although the technology is promising, numerous drawbacks need to be solved first. Well, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed watching this one. If you did, remember to like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell for the latest notifications and updates. Thanks for watching.